the controversy and perhaps scare or fear of hormones is because of the Women's Health Initiative WHI trial that was published in JAM in 2002, showed that hormones are bad. So are, are hormones good or are they bad? Well, after the study came out, there were millions of women that stopped taking their hormones out of fear that it caused breast cancer or fear that it caused heart attacks or strokes, which is what the study showed. But with the reanalysis of those studies, that was a certain older group of women that were taking a certain type of hormone, and those results should not be extrapolated to younger women or to different types of hormones, and the studies looking at those have shown just the opposite of the results of the Women's Health Initiative study. The Women's Health Initiative study did indeed show an increased risk of heart attacks, strokes, and breast cancer in women that were over age 60 that took synthetic conjugated esterified estrogen or Premarin and medroxyprogesterone acetate, the brand name of which is Provera. There's no doubt about it, there's no discussion, all studies pretty much show the same thing, and as a result of that fear, most women have stopped taking their hormones. But if you look at a younger group of women and you look at perhaps a different type of estrogen, we don't see the harm in giving a transdermal patch or cream or an oral estro estradiol to a younger woman, we don't see the harm that we saw in the Women's Health Initiative. So yes, hormones are good, just use the right ones in the right way. If hormones were so bad in women, we'd yank their ovaries out when they were 30. We used to do that, and they all died sooner and had miserable life before they died. Now we don't take the ovaries out, we leave those ovaries in. Why? Well, because they feel better, they function better, but they live longer, happier, and healthier. So the hormones do have a beneficial effect. Yeah, but the Women's Health Initiative showed that the hormones were harmful. Well, which is it? Is, are they good or are they bad? In the body, they're good. Out of the body, in a chemically altered form, they're bad. And all the studies show that. Well, let's look at most recent studies, looking perhaps at a natural estradiol. All the studies show is very, very beneficial. And all the studies showing long-term use of that will make you live longer, happier, less heart attacks, less stroke, less osteoporosis less depression, less mood swings, less Alzheimer's, less dementia. Why don't we use that one? Why do we have to use this one if this one shows that it's harmful? Well, now the trend is we are using that one, and the studies are looking at that. There's two big studies, one going on in uh, Scottsdale at Kronos, another one at USC here in Los Angeles, that evaluated estradiol, the natural estradiol, the natural estrogen. And it's not a study of Premarin. It's not a study of a conjugated or different chemical form of estrogen. It's the main estrogen made by the ovary, estradiol. Why are they studying that? Because all the recent studies show that that's the most beneficial one. Let's not look at these other studies with the synthetic chemically altered. Let's look at estradiol. That's the one that's been shown to be beneficial. That's the one that we lose when we go through menopause. Replace that one in the correct form. We haven't seen any problems with it. So you have to look at the good ones versus the bad ones. The Women's Health Initiative study showed pretty consistently that Provera, which is the progestin that was used, increases the risk of breast cancer eightfold. Well, if you don't have a uterus, you can take estrogen by itself, which is fine, but if you have a uterus, you have to take that medicine to protect the uterus from the stimulation from estrogen. Well, if you look at all the European studies, they don't use Provera, they use what we call natural progesterone. Every study over there shows Natural progesterone has been protective against breast cancer. Why don't we see that in the headlines of our newspaper? You think you would, it's of such great importance. Well, there's no drug company here to sort of market that or promote it. So we still sort of go with the old, well, just take this one, it's not so bad, versus no, don't take that one, it's bad. So women are sort of left in between. All the studies show progesterone prevents breast cancer. There's not one article in the literature out there that shows that progesterone is harmful in any way. There's not no, one negative article on progesterone. Some people may be confused about that and say, well, yes, there are. No, that's medroxyprogesterone, which is Provera. Medroxyprogesterone is the generic for Provera. That is the harmful one. Don't use that one. Every study shows, yes, that's harmful. The progesterone, which is sometimes called micronized progesterone or oral micronized progesterone, all the studies show that's perfectly harmless. It is beneficial in protecting against breast cancer. It's protecting against uterine cancer. And as opposed to Provera, which showed an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes, the progesterone is not associated with that, it does not affect blood vessels, it's perfectly safe. So to bring all this together, why is there a controversy? The controversy is because almost everyone looks at the media reports that looked at the Women's Health Initiative study to show that hormones are harmful. Yes, those hormones, synthetic chemically altered in that older age group, is definitely harmful. There's no doubt about it. But don't extrapolate that to 
this group of hormones, which have been shown to be protective, does not cause breast cancer, does not cause increase in heart attacks and strokes seen with this group, does not cause increase in blood clots seen with this group, very safe. But most doctors don't know about that. They don't know about the literature. They don't know all the studies that show of great benefit of this. And that's why I'm so passionate about teaching these courses are that most doctors think and believe this because that's what we heard from the Women's Health Initiative. Absolutely true. But you can't extrapolate that to this, and that's why all the most recent studies show there's beneficial protection, there is no harm, take these, it is life-saving, the longer you take it, the longer you will live, less heart attacks, strokes, Alzheimer's, dementia, osteoporosis, bone loss, etc. that you'll get on these hormones versus not being on them. So there is an alternative to the synthetic, and the alternative is not stopping everything because then you will not live as long, and all the studies show that same thing. Without the hormones, it's detrimental to your long-term health, with the hormones, it's protective. Take the right ones in the right form, that's protective and that's what the science is all about, but don't extrapolate it to be the harmful ones. Long answer for a simple question, but that's what was needed. <laughs>